Are you worried about your kidney health? You're not alone. Many people suffer from kidney disease, but there's hope. If you have kidney problems, don't be afraid, don't be scared, and don't give up. The National Kidney Foundation says over 37 million Americans have kidney disease, and many are at risk of losing their kidneys. But there's good news. Recent studies show that adopting certain habits can greatly improve kidney health. In this video, we'll look at seven easy habits that can make a big difference. These habits are simple and backed by science. They can lead to significant improvements in your health. Imagine how comforting it will be to know you're doing everything you can to protect your kidneys. Stay with us until the end of the video to get valuable tips on how to keep your kidneys healthy and boost your overall well-being. Don't miss out. Your kidneys will thank you. Let's start with habit number seven that helps keep your kidneys healthy. I want to share an inspiring story from someone named Joseph. He managed to control and even reverse his kidney disease through good habits and positive thinking. Here's his story. Joseph was diagnosed with chronic kidney disease, CKD, four years ago. His GFR, a measure of kidney function, was around 27 and he didn't know how serious it was. His doctor gave him medication, but his kidney function kept getting worse. He felt exhausted and lost control of his health. This went on for three years until he discovered our channel. Joseph learned that changing his diet and lifestyle could help slow down kidney disease. He started walking to work every day, cut out protein, meat, and salt, and used baking soda. Thanks to the advice from our videos, his health improved significantly. After eight months, his GFR went up to 41, and he felt better than he had in years. His doctor was thrilled with the progress. In today's video, we'll explore the habits that helped Joseph and how you can use them in your own life. Share this message of hope with others who might benefit from these tips. Improving kidney health is possible, and you can make a positive change with the right habits. Let's talk about a powerful eating habit for your kidneys. Eating berries. This is habit number six, and it's a top way to boost kidney health. If you've been watching my videos, you know I stress the importance of knowing which foods to eat, not just which ones to avoid. Berries are a key part of any healthy kidney-friendly diet I suggest. They're full of antioxidants, which help lower creatinine levels and support overall health. Antioxidants can also lower cholesterol, fight off colds and infections, and improve heart health. Including antioxidants in your diet without too much potassium can be tricky, but berries make it simple. They have a great balance of antioxidants and low potassium, making them ideal for a kidney-friendly diet. Here's why berries are so beneficial. Strawberries can help lower blood pressure and reduce bad cholesterol. Blueberries have the highest antioxidant levels among berries. Raspberries are good for diabetes and heart health. Goji berries support kidney function. And cranberries protect your urinary tract and kidneys from infections. Berries are low in potassium, so you don't need to worry about that. Just a small amount each day can give you all these health benefits. Another great thing about berries is that they're delicious on their own, with no need for added heat, salt, or sugar. So, go ahead and add some berries to your diet. Your kidneys will thank you. Habit number five, avoiding hidden salt and sugar. Almost every kidney patient is advised to cut down on added salt, and that's absolutely correct. Excessive salt can lead to high blood pressure, heart disease, and even direct kidney damage. Most of you are probably already cautious with your salt shaker, but here's the kicker. 80% of the salt we consume comes from processed foods, not the salt shaker. For example, cured meats and cold cuts can be salt bombs. Some brands of sliced deli turkey have over 1,000 milligrams of sodium in just a four ounce serving. Remember, you're only supposed to get 1,500 milligrams of sodium per day. Fast foods, bacon, processed meats, salad dressings, and snacks can have over 1,500 milligrams of sodium per serving. This shows that too much salt often comes from processed foods, not just the salt shaker. But there's something even worse, hidden sugar. Sugar can harm your blood pressure even more than salt and is very addictive. The more you eat, the more you want. Food makers hide sugar in almost everything. For example, fruit juice has more sugar than healthy nutrients. Sports drinks are even worse because they often have both sugar and potassium. Granola, which is often seen as a healthy choice, can be high in calories and sugar, just like many breakfast cereals. Flavored coffees and creamers should also be avoided. Even vitamin water, which seems healthy, has a lot of added sugar. Don't be fooled by advertising. 
Focus on your health by avoiding hidden salt and sugar to improve your kidney health and overall well-being. Baking soda is a remarkable remedy for those with kidney problems. The healthy habits we've discussed all aim to help the kidneys maintain the body's acid-alkaline balance. When we consume acidic foods, we place extra stress on our kidneys. Baking soda, being highly alkaline, can help reduce this burden. Studies have shown that baking soda can effectively slow the progression of kidney disease. Before using baking soda, it's important to get tested for sodium bicarbonate levels and serum potassium to ensure it's appropriate for you and to determine the correct dosage. Some people take one gram of baking soda three times a day with water, but it's crucial to consult your doctor to find the right dosage for your situation. If you're in stage four or five of kidney disease and not using baking soda, it's worth discussing with your doctor. It could be essential. Now, let's talk about another natural remedy, astragalus. This adaptogen has shown great promise in slowing down kidney disease. A study found that astragalus extract effectively reduced creatinine levels in patients with advanced kidney disease. Patients took 2.5 grams of astragalus twice daily alongside their usual treatments. Within three months, their GFR improved instead of declining, indicating that astragalus could be a valuable addition to your kidney health regimen. Number two, find out what's causing your kidney issues. I know many of you might already have a good idea of what's behind your kidney problems, but if you have any doubts, or if your doctor hasn't been entirely clear, it's crucial to dig deeper. I understand that spending extra time in hospitals and with doctors can be exhausting and sometimes overwhelming, but trust me, it's absolutely worth it to get to the bottom of things. If you don't have a nephrologist, it's crucial to find one, as they are the experts in managing chronic kidney disease, CKD. Under their care, you'll undergo essential tests to determine the exact cause of your condition. Diabetes and high blood pressure are responsible for over 75% of CKD cases, but other causes include tumors, nephritis, genetic disorders like polycystic kidney disease, and glomerular diseases such as IgA nephropathy. Additional factors like interstitial nephritis, prolonged urinary tract obstructions, from an enlarged prostate or kidney stones, recurrent kidney infections, and some cancers can also contribute to kidney damage. In some instances, the cause remains unidentified. The primary goal of treatment is to address the underlying cause. For instance, if diabetes is responsible, controlling blood sugar levels is vital. If CKD stems from another condition, accurate diagnosis and targeted treatment are essential. Misdiagnosis can occur, especially with high blood pressure which may be mistaken as the cause when it is actually a symptom of kidney disease. Ensuring an accurate diagnosis is critical to effective treatment and management of your kidney health. If you're seeing a nephrologist, they'll likely cover all these bases. But if you're working with a general practitioner or internist, you might need to advocate strongly for comprehensive testing and diagnosis. Keep in mind that medical understanding evolves. For instance, as recently as the 1960s and 70s, high blood pressure was thought to be beneficial for older adults. It wasn't until the late 1970s and early 1980s that research shifted this perspective, and only in the past two decades have we fully grasped how even moderately high blood pressure can harm the kidneys. The recommendation to keep the upper number below 120 is a recent development, but is strongly supported by current research. This brings us to our top tip. Keep being informed. Just like our friend Joseph discovered, knowledge truly is power. He shared that without diving deep into understanding his condition, he wouldn't have been able to reverse his kidney disease. The world of kidney disease is evolving rapidly. Chronic kidney disease is one of the most overlooked public health issues, but changes are on the horizon. Every day, new breakthroughs and treatments are being researched. We're also seeing significant strides in transplant technology. It's only a matter of years before we might witness the first successful transplant of an artificial kidney. So, stay informed, stay hopeful, and keep exploring the latest advancements. They could make all the difference in your journey. Repair your kidneys in three days. This adaptogen tells the kidneys never to give up. Number seven on our list is an adaptogenic herb that could be a game changer for you, especially if stress is a major part of your life. Chronic illness already adds enough stress, making it feel like a never-ending bad sequel. High cortisol levels, which often accompany stress, can further damage your kidneys, 
turning what should be a smooth ride into a bumpy road filled with uninvited problems. That's where adaptogens come in, helping to manage stress and protect your kidneys. Let me introduce you to rhodiola, a remarkable adaptogen. Rhodiola not only helps lower cortisol levels, but also reduces stress, improves sleep quality, and supports kidney repair. It's like having a little miracle worker in a bottle. From my experience, rhodiola delivers impressive results, but you don't have to rely on anecdotal evidence alone. Studies show that it can start making a difference in as little as three days. That's faster than brewing your morning coffee. Additionally, for those with diabetes, rhodiola might assist in repairing some of the kidney damage caused by the condition. The initial studies supporting rhodiola's benefits were double-blind trials on highly stressed individuals. There's also promising research on diabetic rats with kidney damage, showing positive effects from rhodiola. If those rats could talk, they'd probably call it the best herb ever. Though rhodiola grows in cold, mountainous regions of Europe, you don't need to hike to find it. It's readily available as an extract on Amazon and other supplement stores, typically in doses ranging from 150 to 400 milligrams per day. Many brands offer rhodiola, and countless users swear by its benefits. Number six on the list is a supplement that has been scientifically proven to improve kidney function in humans. Yes, I'm talking about measurable improvement, because if it's not measurable, it might as well be science fiction. So, instead of relying on multivitamins, consider taking a multi-antioxidant approach. While there aren't many certainties in managing kidney disease, here's one that's making waves. Antioxidants have been shown to genuinely boost kidney health, even when some doctors may be skeptical. The research, published in the highly respected Cochrane Library, offers some of the most credible findings in health research. Think of it as the Oscars of medical studies. If you're not already using antioxidants for your kidney health, you could be missing out. But it's never too late to start. Some of the most powerful antioxidants for kidney health include vitamin C, sulfur compounds from garlic, catechins from green tea, flavonoids from berries, selenium, coenzyme Q10, and vitamin K2. In my experience, the best strategy is to get as many antioxidants as possible from your diet and complement them with low-dose supplements. The combination of different antioxidants often works better together than any single one alone. Number five, finding the right natural treatments for your kidney health. When it comes to taking care of your kidney health, finding the right natural treatments that truly work for you is crucial. Let's go back to the example I mentioned earlier. If we were sitting down for a consultation in my office, my first question would be, do you understand why you have kidney disease? Chronic kidney disease, CKD, is a broad term that covers a wide range of conditions and causes. For some, it may be due to inflammatory issues like nephritis, while for others, genetic factors could be at play. However, the most common causes are diabetes and high blood pressure, or a combination of both. My primary goal would be to identify what's driving your kidney damage and find effective ways to address it. By targeting the root causes, we can make a real difference in managing your condition. In the next steps, we'll explore practical ways to tackle these common causes and improve your kidney health. So, stay tuned for what's coming next. Number four, a natural approach to managing high blood pressure. Let's discuss a natural approach to managing high blood pressure, especially if you have kidney issues. High blood pressure often accompanies kidney disease, but Managing it with multiple medications can sometimes backfire. Many common blood pressure medications can lead to high potassium levels or, even worse, further kidney damage. But there's good news. I'm here to guide you. As a naturopath, I like to think of myself as a skilled mechanic who fixes issues without creating new ones. When it comes to managing blood pressure, there's one vitamin that might help you reduce your reliance on medications, vitamin D. Recent research has shown that vitamin D plays a crucial role in lowering blood pressure by modulating the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, RAS, which regulates blood pressure and fluid balance in the body. It's like discovering that a vitamin I already recommend for bone health also helps with blood pressure. It's a bit like finding out my cat could do my taxes. If you're deficient in vitamin D, a condition affecting nearly 90% of kidney patients, your blood pressure medications might not work as effectively, so supplementing with vitamin D could be a game changer for your blood pressure management. But there's more. Another powerful tool for managing blood pressure is coenzyme Q10, 
COQ10. Like vitamin D, CoQ10 is an antioxidant that helps restore levels in the body. Low CoQ10 levels, common in people over 50 or those taking certain medications, can contribute to kidney damage. COQ10 isn't just a potent antioxidant. It's also one of the most effective natural remedies for lowering blood pressure. Studies have shown that it can reduce blood pressure by up to 17 tenths mmHg, which is impressive. Combining CoQ10 with vitamin D, and possibly magnesium, could help you lower or even eliminate some of your blood pressure medications. Remember, fewer medications mean a better chance of improving your overall health. Stay tuned for tip number three, where we'll explore more ways to support your kidney health. Number three, managing diabetes. Let's dive into an essential topic, managing diabetes, the leading cause of kidney disease. To truly impact your kidney health, a holistic approach to diabetes management is crucial. Instead of relying solely on medications, which can sometimes feel overwhelming, it's important to make lifestyle changes. The first step in managing type 2 diabetes is to focus on diet and exercise, as these are key in reducing visceral fat, the harmful fat around your organs that contributes to the condition. A healthy diet and regular exercise can often be more effective than insulin injections. In addition to these lifestyle changes, certain supplements can provide valuable support. One of my top recommendations is a combination of berberine and banaba extract. Berberine is particularly noteworthy as it's as effective as metformin for lowering blood sugar, but with fewer side effects. It also aids in weight loss. I usually recommend taking 500 milligrams of berberine three times a day, about 30 minutes before meals. Berberine not only reduces glucose production, but also helps control appetite, giving your metabolism a boost. Another beneficial supplement is chromium, an essential trace element that helps stabilize and lower blood sugar levels by enhancing insulin sensitivity. Even if you're already on medications like metformin, chromium can complement your treatment, further managing blood sugar and potentially reducing your medication needs. Stay tuned for my next tip, where we'll explore more strategies to support your health. Number two, Find what works for you. The tip number two is all about finding what works best for you. You don't need to turn your kitchen into a supplement store or go on a scavenger hunt for every pill and powder out there. Instead, focus on a few key supplements that can truly make a difference. Think of it as creating a greatest hits album for your kidney health. The supplements we've discussed today are backed by medical research for effectively addressing common causes of CKD helping reduce the need for medication and minimizing side effects and toxicity to your kidneys. If you've been following along, you've likely seen other recommendations tailored to your specific needs. But here's the key. Never start multiple supplements at once. Treat it like dating. Focus on one supplement at a time. When you introduce a new supplement, monitor your levels and check how your GFR, glomerular filtration rate, is doing at your next appointment. If you see improvement, you'll not only boost your kidney function, but also know exactly which supplement is working for you. Plus, you might even earn a virtual high five from me. Now, there's one final step to ensure you're on the right path to better kidney health. Stay tuned for more. Here's where a personal health journal comes into play. I swear by this simple spreadsheet I use to track my diet, lab results, and workouts. It's not just a tool. It's a powerful habit that can make a real difference. By diligently noting down everything, you'll be able to monitor how natural remedies and lifestyle changes are affecting your blood pressure, cholesterol, and blood sugar levels. This kind of tracking helps you identify which medications you might no longer need, ultimately improving your kidney function. And let's be honest, many people with kidney disease are still prescribed medications that can do more harm than good. So, start using a health journal today. It's a simple yet incredibly effective way to take charge of your health and make informed decisions about your treatment. Thank you for watching. We hope you found these tips helpful in giving your kidneys the support they need. Remember, adapting to new routines can take time, but every small step counts. We'd love to hear from you. Have you tried any adaptogens or kidney-friendly practices? Share your experiences in the comments below and connect with others who are on the same journey. Together, we can support each other in maintaining healthy kidneys. Before we wrap up, it's essential to remember that everyone's journey to better kidney health is unique. What works wonders for one person might not have the same effect for another. That's why it's so important to stay informed, listen to your body, 
and work closely with your health care provider to find the best approach for you. Whether it's adopting new dietary habits, incorporating natural remedies, or making lifestyle changes, the key is consistency and patience. Healing and maintaining your kidney health is a marathon, not a sprint. As you embark on this journey, don't hesitate to reach out for support. Whether it's from a medical professional, a support group, or even our community here, connecting with others can provide the encouragement you need to keep going. Together, we can navigate the challenges and celebrate the victories, no matter how small they may seem. Thank you for being part of our community. By staying engaged, asking questions, and sharing your experiences, you're contributing to a positive movement that empowers others to take control of their kidney health. Until next time, take care of yourself and stay committed to your health journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more helpful content.